Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back on another video. It's been quite a while since I did one of these, a video that talks about my public speaking and how it is that uh, over the years I have spoken at more than 600 different venues, uh, mainly libraries and schools, but also uh, comic book conventions, different places like that, author, uh, book fairs, this sort of thing. And uh, yeah, just want to let you all know that it's possible for you, as even as a YouTube v viewer, to be um, instrumental in getting one of these invitations going and then, of course, meeting me face to face right there at your local school or library or whatever it ends up being. Uh, so I wanted to quickly tell you about how that happens, but also to show you uh, by way of my <laughs> nerdy... Uh, uh, magnet collection for refrigerator magnets some of the different places that I've gone of course I live in Michigan southeast Michigan so I've been all over the state including the Upper Peninsula um, but if you live in uh, Ohio uh, or Indiana or Illinois or indeed Wisconsin over there on the other side of Lake Michigan these are states that have I have repeatedly been to uh, again and again, and of course, I've had a wonderful time visiting these different locations. If you live in any of these states, uh, you are well poised to get me invited because then I can just drive on down there. They don't have to uh, pay for airfare, uh, which is, you know, quite a considerable cost. Now, another thing is that I can get as far uh, away as, like, West Virginia. I drove there one time uh, and did a tour of different schools and uh, at least one library had a wonderful time. That was initiated by a YouTuber who wanted to meet me and, and got that put in place and I have so many happy memories of doing that trip. Uh, Pennsylvania is certainly near enough that I could drive there uh, and uh, again save the venue the cost of airfare. Um, but as I work on this drawing I thought I'd talk a little bit about what is it that I talk about when I do public speaking. Well, if it's a school, mainly I'm talking about um, writing and getting uh, students excited about their own possible future as an author or illustrator, giving my best advice about, you know, coming up with storylines, creating characters, um, you know, editing, all of that good stuff. Schools and libraries they bring people in to speak. You, you know, if you're a student watching this video, you probably remember uh, being taken in for an assembly and they've brought someone in to talk to you. So they're doing it already, right? Um, and uh, why not, you know, if you want to meet me face to face, why not have it be me? And you'd be surprised when you go in and uh, talk to, say, your school librarian, which is typically, if it's a school, that's typically the person who arranges these things. They take it very seriously when someone comes in and says, hey, I would like you to invite this person. And they say, oh, wow, this person, you know, the, the, they care enough about having this uh, guy in, invited that they've made a special effort to come and talk to me. Uh, and they'll look into it, you know. And I, I'm going to put a link... Uh, in the description of this video to the relevant part of my website that talks about my public speaking. That is something that you could show to your librarian or um, you know, school librarian or indeed someone associated with a book fair or something like that. Um, to Just to show them, like I said, 600 different venues. I'm, I'm pretty much a seasoned <laughs> professional uh, in, in public speaking and, and have uh, really enjoyed my times uh, doing that. And, you know, if they want to see what kind of books I've done, you know, Amazon probably. Just key in Mark Crowley at Amazon and they, they will see immediately, oh yeah, wow, this guy's done more than 40 different books and all the different kinds of books that I've done. And that'll help them make that decision about whether I would be a good fit um, for, you know, being invited to speak. Let me talk quickly about some of the other places that I've been to multiple times. California, for sure. Uh, have spoken at different places in California again and again. Um, I know I did Arizona at least a couple of different times, Phoenix. And uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky, this was another one that was set up by uh, some, uh, you know, someone from YouTube uh, in Bowling Green who talked to their local librarian and uh, pretty soon there I was speaking at different places there. New York State uh, and New York City multiple times. 
that I've been there. In fact, I think this is the first of the magnets <laughs> when I decided to start collecting uh, magnets of the different places I've been. Then, of course, there's a number of places that I've only uh, done one time. North Carolina, look at the size. Boy, they really get into the magnet production there in North Carolina. Um, Louisiana, I was down there as part of a um, book fair. Uh, Virginia, that was quite some time ago. Uh, but Florida, not uh, too long ago that they had me down at this Orlando Art Museum for uh, an exhibit that included some of my work. And I had a really great time visiting both Connecticut and Massachusetts. Um, another one that was, I think, set in motion by a uh, YouTube viewer, library patron down there. Uh, and uh, yeah, Oklahoma, Kansas, that's a couple of places that I've uh, been to just the one time. Um, but marvelous experiences going to these different places. And that's why I just thought, it's been a while since I made one of these videos, why not let the good people of YouTube know? Of course, you know, there's nothing more exciting than an international uh, invitation. Those are few and far between, but those of you who follow me on social media, you'll know that Norway has had me a couple of times to Bergen to a book festival there called Raptus, uh, which is, you know, I feel a very special uh, connection to Norway now, thanks to them and the two different times that I've been there. And the same goes for Japan, believe it or not. A school in Kobe, the Canadian uh, Academy, uh, had me in two times uh, to speak at their school. The jet lag is intense. <laughs> but you know what? You don't even mind because it's such a thrill that someone wanted you to speak so badly that they flew you all the way out to uh, Japan. I don't have a magnet for it. I should have got one when I was in Spain because uh, the Canary Islands, that was one of the first international ones that I did. And uh, boy, what a uh, heavenly trip that was. Tenerife, Tenerife, I think it's pronounced, uh, in the Canary Islands for a book festival or a comic book um, festival that they had down there. Uh, and finally, Canada. And I think it's only been one time, although, you know, in Michigan, just across the river, the Detroit River, there you got uh, Canada uh, and uh, Windsor and uh, anything uh, further afield from there. I could certainly just drive and they wouldn't have to worry about airfare for that kind of thing. Well, I think I have told you hopefully everything. I suppose the one last thing I should mention is that um, for libraries, very often it is drawing workshops that libraries are interested in. Uh, and in the summer in particular, they are setting up things f for uh, local people to do uh, in the community. And uh, you could tell them that I do these drawing workshops. And it could be realistic drawing, it could be cartooning, it could be manga style, anime, you know, whatever you want. Uh, many, many libraries have had me in, uh, as I said, especially in the summer, but not exclusively in the summer to do hands-on drawing workshops. And, uh, you know, again, if you are instrumental in bringing me uh, to a, a certain location to do some public speaking, you can be sure I will thank you with an original piece of art, something that you can keep forever. And all the drawings and stuff that I do, you know, when I do public speaking, I do drawings at an easel. All of those drawings become a gift to the venue, and they can hold on to that as a memento of my visit. And I think that kind of sets me apart from some people who do these, um, you know, laptop uh, projection type of uh, uh, presentations, which, you know, can be quite entertaining, but there's no actual object that gets left behind at the end of the day. Uh, in my case, you do have an original drawing that I did at the easel that everyone saw me create right there uh, at the venue. So... Anyway, I think it is time for me to lay down this trusty black Prisma color. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another one real soon.